Oh. Okay. So you kind of might be wondering, well if you're watching this video, you probably are. So you're probably thinking, what vegetables or food can I feed my tacos? And I don't actually feed all of these and it's very specific what fish will eat what. So it's worth trying a few different things. So I'll just put them down because I'm a bit overloaded by vegetables. Well, I don't think some are food but, and boots, but I they're all vegetables for me. Um, so someone that studied a bit of botany. Okay, so this is generally going to be for herbivorous species. Other species you will feed stuff like mussels, prawns, um, I, was, I always say oysters, but oysters are quite expensive, so probably not. White bait, um, and my mind's gone blank, because I don't really keep carnivorous species myself, so um, the only issue is with those carnivorous foods is you've got to be aware of that toxin. Now, I can never remember the name of it, begins with a T that goldfish can take. Um, also, a minnow that is a growth inhibitor, stunts the growth, and then reduces their lifespan. So anyway, let's get on with vegetables that you can feed Plex or Lorcarde, Hypostome in particular. So the most famous one is, I don't use this, but courgette. So you can see it's wrapped up in plastic as it needs to be according to supermarkets. But, so this is, um, so what would I feed this? Uh, well, why don't I? I do when I'm weaning fish, I'm trying to work out what it's feeding, trying to get it onto dry food, so giving it food in the meantime, just to try and get it to feed. So, this, yeah, so, this I would only leave in for a maximum of 12 hours. It sort of breaks down in the water really quickly, and I've noticed a lot of fish can be a bit of hiss and miss with it but it will foul your water and you'll get gloop floating around and it'll be a pain to clean you'll have to get out the filter so I don't really use cucumber this isn't actually mine this is for one of my housemates to make food things with so this is so these are my major ones this is courgettes as you might know I have no idea what they come in America there's eggplant and no sorry I'll try and find the name so I feed this to my snails and to my fish, so I buy a lot, and I'm weaning fish at work, so I buy even more, and I'm weaning my mango. So, I'll go through a lot of this. So these are um, courgettes, so it's basically the same thing. I think it contains more nutrients. Um, generally, uh, with African lands, there's a lot of people say that if they feed cucumber too much, they're going to be reluctant to feed on it to anything else. With the same plex, don't know but this is high in nutrients I think it doesn't break down as easy so I will leave it in for about 48 hours depends on how sloppy it is because I don't want it to foul the water one thing I'll say both of these is when you're putting it in don't put it in circular because I've had my gold nugget actually get stuck in between and then panic and now I'd have to cut him out so always do it sort of long wise think like if you're feeding a horse you feed it long wise not circular but that's with carrots with them so yes you can feed courgettes and that's a major one and there's a lot of vegetables you can feed so these are sort of the main ones you can feed tri carrot mine have never taken it potatoes i don't have sweet potatoes on we have sweet potato chips but i'm not going to feed them chips that have been in oil um you generally want to always wash them in the sink as well because you want to get rid of any fertilizers, any chemicals they put on, give it a good old scrub. Just like if you were eating it yourself, I think you wouldn't want to be eating fertilizers, pesticides, and that lot. So there's potatoes and sweet potatoes. I prefer to use sweet potatoes. I do not boil them, I put them in, and the fish should be able to rasp at it or rasp at the bacteria growing on it once it starts to decay. Um, and neither should foul the water. Peppers are a popular one. I hate the smell of peppers. I can't stand them. So I would use it, but I prefer not to, um, if I can avoid it. Um, see, mushrooms used occasionally. I personally wouldn't because I find they can foul water. They break down quite quickly. Broccoli is another popular one, as is spinach. Um, I probably 
love it. I haven't used these. I'm never, no, I have used it with goldfish. I've never needed to really. Otherwise, um, I wouldn't bother boiling any of these with Laurel Cardi because they should have the rasping mouth parts. Um, to actually be able to get this off goldfish, then I do tend to boil a few things. Um, the next things are apples I've seen use. I I find them quite sugary and I personally wouldn't put them in the water if they're quite watery because the water's kind of leaching in. So I'm showing all of these and I'm going to only say supplement the diet with this because this will not contain all of the nutrients required, will not contain all of the minerals. So I would always feed a mixture of things, a mixture of different diets, so dry diets, um, gel diets and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you for watching, um, hope this video is useful, if it is, um, uh, if you have any questions just ask, so, thank you for watching and goodbye. <laughs>